You want to go out this morning? No. <laughs> Why not? Because what, what was it, 8 degrees? 4 degrees. 4 degrees. Wind chill of what, negative 10? Mm -mm. I'm fine right where I'm at. Alright. I'm going to go get you. Go after You go right on. Yeah, I will. I'll bring old big boy back. And I will clap. <laughs> Alright, well, let's get out of here, y'all. Let's, let's see what we can do this morning on this cold, cold, cold front that come through. You always know I like hunting behind cold fronts, so... Here's behind it. Getting ready to get out of here. Y'all, I'm finna bring my, my dad's old 30-30 Marlin. Oh, like I said, if y'all watched any of my shows, you know I do a little tribute to him, try to. He got an old J.C. Higgins shotgun I always use during turkey season, track him at one turkey with. It's old 30-30 Remington, I mean it's a Marlin. I never killed me a deer with it over a lifetime. And, and he hadn't either, but it was his favorite old gun. Oh. Where I'm going here is pretty tight. So let's try it out, see if he's gonna be lucky this morning. My door, my pickup is froze. Come out here a while ago. I can't get my back door open. So I'll get the front door. Get all my stuff in here. Let's go get them. Like I said, it's no 30-30, but I'm gonna load it up with some some Winchester PowerPoint. Old legendary whitetail load. I used to like them and like them silver tips too. And went just silver tips. So, like I said, I'm at the place where I'm going to hunt. So, I'm going to go ahead and put me a couple in this baby in case we see one walking in. Because, like I said, it is cold. And I'm not going to be too <clears throat> ticky if I can get footage of them or not. If I ever get in a tree, I can get pretty good footage. But if I catch one on the ground, I'm going to pop him and then show him to you. And that old slide thing, my gloves keep hanging in it. All right. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> I forgot I put this on there. I didn't ever cock it. That ain't good, because I don't think I got an Allen wrench with me. It won't even load. I'm glad I done that before I got in the freaking tree. Dadgum. I guess I tried doing that before, and it wouldn't... Uh -huh. I'm going to go back down and get an Allen wrench. All right, y'all. I got the hammer off of this thing. It was a little low where you could catch it with your thumb. Because the scope, scope and hammer is so tight, it's hard to pull it back with gloves on. But I went to the house, changed that. I started back, changed my mind of where I want to go. There's a spot here that we usually hunt a little after the first year. Because on a cold day, just like today, with the wind blowing, it's on the south side of the hill. There's a power line going up. And deer like stand on that power line in the sun. I'm talking about this is right off the highway too. So I'm gonna go crawl up that stand and see if I can shoot one with those 30 30. Yeah, this morning I don't think just meant to be me. I need a hunting film. I get up in the tree, put my camera arm up. I left my battery at the house for this camera. I, I ain't even got a battery for it. Like some buck. Like I said, it's I probably got time to run back and get it, but that gum. I'm like I'm gonna go feed my cows and get everything ready for this scene. Because it's it ain't working for this morning. And a lot of times I've learned. Learned in life. If it don't start good, most of the time it don't end good. So let's 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 go reset and start over. <laughs> Cause it is cold. Like I said. I have killed some good deer right here. You can shoot it a little later. Toward the tail end of the rut. But they really like this old hillside when the sun hits it. And like, it's like I said, it's, it's hitting me, but it's not hitting up there yet. So, ain't nothing I can do about it. I ain't got to, I don't care nothing about shooting one unless I get him on film. So, I'm going to get out. And we'll try again later. I mean, y'all had days like today. That just every time you turn around, it don't. It's it just you know it could be worse. Dylan just went tearing off down the yard. That cat was in the driveway when I come up. Uh. <laughs> it just wasn't meant to be this morning. What happened now? I got in the tree, put my camera arm up, put my camera on it. My battery wasn't on it. 
Just tell it. I give up. You're so, <laughs> you're so worried about all your clothes, you forgot your bed. <laughs> Here it is. Here it is. I had it sitting. <laughs> thing about cattle, he ain't never been around them. When it gets cold and weather gets bad, you better tend to them. That's when, that's when they need you. So like I said, I feed these pretty much every day anyway. this morning <laughs> like a deer they gotta feed when it's cold generate body heat just get them fed right you cold out there ain't huh uh, I get you. here we go all right let's go feed the cows y'all that jumped old tractor off this morning it's cold Take a little bit for to get going here. There we go. Yeah, that's one thing about mama cows. 90% of the time, you keep them feed, plenty of grass in the pasture, you never have no problem out of them. 10% of the time, they need you. <laughs> you gotta keep feed out for them and get them through this. I hope I ain't got any I didn't want to get close to having a calf for the day. I hope she's I hope she still hasn't hit it yet. Hold it there, you see Huh? Huh? They're not out of hay yet, but they're getting close. I knew they were getting close. These older cows and figure out how they can step around the side and keep it busted. That old girl there getting her some water. All right, we got them fed, ain't we, Stella? Huh? Mm hmm. Can we get out? Huh? Get out here. Ah, it might have been warm up here. It's still supposed to be cold all day today, so we'll see. We might we'll probably hunt late this evening. So <sighs> got one chore done. All right, y'all. This is evening. About ain't quite three o'clock yet. I'm starting over. <laughs> this morning just didn't work out. You seen what happened there? Then I got home. Power went out. It was on our side with a meter. So I'm gonna throw the fuse box of the inline hot water heater. Fool with it, it had a water leak. So it's been one of them days today. But I feel like this scene is gonna be the behind the front. You know, it's, it's behind the you know, the front come through last night. And I always say I like hunting behind the front. It's been cold all day today. So deer are definitely gonna move this scene. 
the, the minor time is, is right at dark, so I'm about to go in there and hunt where I know where some scrapes are I found the other day. I'm not a bunch of bucks hiding in there. Well, so this is a little corner where the deer's coming through, but I'm going to go all the way around, walking a little ways to get in there to, to come in behind him, where, where he won't be crossing my track here. So, got my old 30 30 loaded up. This is my dad's old gun. Let's go see if we knock one down with it. Old tree right there. I was in it a couple years ago when I killed it a wide. I don't even remember what he was later than nine point. But he come up through that holler here. We just blown this way, so I'm gonna get on the back side. A couple hundred yards further over. So let me show you that hunt here right quick. Just a quick recaps of it and let me get on in here a little further. Hardwoods. I see these pines back here. On down here, there's a corner. There's an old growed up field. And then different age pines down below it. This seems like they're coming around that point. I gotta walk this way because the wind's blowing this way out. So I wanna get way around it and come back in and get right on that corner and climb. Because you see that ridge right there. You can see, I don't know if you can see it good. Look all the way down there. They scrapes all up and down where they're walking in. So. I had to walk across it right here, but I feel like how the wind's blowing, they're coming from that way, I've seen it. You know, if they're walking in the wind, they're going to be coming from that way, so let's get on down here and see if we circle around and come out right in the corner of that pine plantation. We'll climb right there. My scrapes are at that ridge here. They can stuff back this way, and my wind's blowing this way. I think I'm going to get in that pine tree right there. Well, I think they're coming out right out there, coming up through there, or coming right through here. So, I think I got around far enough. Oh, well, I'll get up here and see. All right, y'all, I'm in my tree. Like I said, I'm going to basically be hunting. Hopefully right in there. And my wind's blowing this way. So, I'm at a, I think I'm at a good spot if he comes up through that thicket down there. And don't try hanging his side of me. Old scrapes and rubs and stuff like he's coming right straight toward me here, so let's wait and see what happens here.
wasn't in drugs in the 70s and early 80s. You know what that spot on the barrel where the blue is rubbed off caused by? Would you leave me a comment if if you've ever had a gun hanging out a gun rack in the back of the back, back, back window of a pickup? Because back then there wasn't no standing cap pickups and basically everybody in the, you know, around where I was from hold their guns in the gun rack. They just let them ride there and then I tell me where the blue and off the barrel on them old guns. And I, I rode in a pickup when I was a kid with this old gun in the gun rack many, 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 many times. So, like I said, just leave me a comment if you've ever done that. Alright, y'all, that was my, my last stand. Like I said, I put it up, sir, a year ago. Mainly for my wife right in here. We ain't on it. First time I ever hunted this year. I rode up this road that day on my forward and I seen a bunch of tracks on the sun. You some deer in here, so. Let's get down and see if we find him. All right, y'all. I'll get over here where I shot him. And there's all kind of white hair there. And that you look good because it's belly hair. So, I'm going to go back and get Stella. Let her track and see where she Because big woods right there where he went, so... Hell, I made a big round with her. Jumped a little deer a while ago. It wasn't him because that was. I could tell it was a small deer, bedded up some of these old tops back here, cedar tops. Yeah, I know that white hair. Most time you see white hair, it's low, because that's, that's in the gut and around the back of his tail. I went back and played the video. Oh, my battery went dead, I changed my battery out. Anyway, sometimes, <laughs> like I said, that's perfect broadside shot, 125 yards. Well, I shot my gun the other day about 80, it was, Three inch circle I hit right in the right side of it, so like I said, I don't know. I'm gonna go back up through this side here, but it don't look good. Like I said, I ain't no blood. And that white hair usually is a, hits low. It so I may have just grazed him. Oh. So but that's one thing. I'm not gonna give up with this old gun. I've been stick with it till I kill a buck this year, y'all. Y'all, that's my goal. So there was one chance I had. You know. A lot of times in life you have chances. <laughs> And like I said, I didn't rush my shot. I was a little nervous. There ain't no doubt I was, my whole heart was a pumping. But hey, let's, let's go find. I'm going to go back and see if I find anything else. But if you don't see me again, I'll be hunting somewhere else. I played that footage back on that deer I shot at. I just barely glazed it right under the belly. That's why that white belly hair is there. This thing shot to right on me. So I'm going to shoot it. I shot it the other day and it was just about that far to ride at about 75 yards. So I'm gonna shoot a two shot group and let's see what, it's, what it does. Like I said, you know, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna shoot two times and let's see what we can do here. All right, let's go down there and see what that does. Fair side by side, I just pulled on it this morning. Oh, you know, it ain't the gun. I shot the other day and it shot right there. And I just shot it in, it, it put them right together. So it wasn't a gun, I don't know what happened. 
I don't know what happened because that's. I'm talking about they they're touching. So what do you? Mm. All right. That made me feel better. I know it's not the gun. So let's go back. We're gonna go to another spot to see. Alright y'all, I'm gonna go in here and climb. I need big pines. I burned them last spring, so they're fairly clean. Oh, but these deer like coming around. Back here, it's thick. And it's thicker over here. They bunch of, there's a couple of houses and stuff in that corner over there, so they gotta come around it. Oh, I've killed a couple pretty good deer in here over the years, so I'm gonna get where I can see up and down a couple of these lanes. They really when they like chasing does, they really like getting in here, so we find me a good strategic spot and the wind's blowing back this way. Oh, so I think I can get right up here. There's a lane I can see up the hill. I can see you underway. See we kill one this evening. and I see him in that opening right there like that's him I'm gonna shoot him like I said he ain't he ain't much for him but he's a bigger old deer that 30-30 put him down hey that's just climbing blind y'all climbing blind and, and he's fine he just comes slipping up through here we have a sort of blowing this way and he just was coming cutting it across ways alright and we got a buck with that gun Finally, we got a buck with it. All right. Nah, it's one thing about being mobile like it. Man, you can just climb anywhere and get your stuff down right quick. And get out of there. So let's go look for it. Look at him. Like I said, he's laying right over here. I got my pack packed up. So let's, let's go look. All right, y'all. Here he is. Yeah, he's an older deer. I knew he was. I knew he was. Look old son of God. Yeah, I'm glad I got him out of the herd. I knew I had a picture of him last week. Man, he's a three or four year old deer. Oh. Let me get my camera set up. I'm gonna do a talk here, yeah. This is a big old coal buck. He's a he's a four year old deer at least. Oh, I knew we had pictures of him last week. <sighs> we was kidding Sandy. That's hers because she, she, we call her half. <laughs> last few deer she's killed had a half rack. But y'all, this is my dad's old gun. Man, you don't know how special it is because this is the first buck I've ever killed with this gun. Oh, he never did kill me any with it. Oh, I don't know. Like I said, I missed that this morning. I hit him broadside at 125 yards, and I hit low. You can see it just knocked the hair out of him right there. <laughs> I shot it a while ago, 
and I'm talking about it was dead on. And I hit him in the front shoulder here. But y'all, one thing, let me talk about my dad, y'all. You know, he was a very special person in my life, y'all. One thing I have to say, he went down his last six months of his life. Don't take things for granted, y'all. Get out and enjoy life. Because he was an outgoing, he traveled a lot, man, he worked hard, he loved to run equipment. But right there at the end, he couldn't do it. you know, there was simple tasks he couldn't do. And that's going to be us one day, y'all. So, you know, that's why I really, really encourage you to, you got dreams, you want to do something, you got a bucket list, man, get started on it. Because you're not guaranteed tomorrow. You're, you're not. You're not guaranteed tomorrow. Um, so, like I said, this is a very special deer. His dot, you know, horn-wise, I definitely put him on a plaque because he is definitely unique and different. Uh, but shooting him with this old gun, you know, you know, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm out of words, y'all. Because <laughs> it's got a lot of meaning, this old gun does. Man, he carried it a many times. But, yeah. Leave me a comment what you think. Hope you enjoyed it. Hey, check out her channel. We got a lot of other good hunts. So, uh, if you got a dad you hunt with, hey, don't take it for granted. If there's something you ever want to tell him, you better tell him. Because one day he'll be gone. You'll never be able to do it, y'all. So, see you next time.